Hi everyone and welcome back to the Chile Food Guide. Today I want to tell you about another museum in Santiago, Chile. This is Museum of the Firefighters. It's called in Spanish Museo de Bomberos de Santiago. If you didn't know already, the firefighters in Santiago and in Chile in general, they are volunteers. So they don't get paid for their service. Like it's not an official job, it's literally a volunteer. So the museum was created in 1980 to show the importance of the work of these volunteers to the city and to the country. The museum is located uh, right in Santiago downtown on the street Santo Domingo. And the best way to go there is by bus or by metro. The closest metro is Plaza de Armas. The museum is located in the currently active firefighter station and it's um, in the old firefighter station. So it was one of the first ones created in Santiago. It's located in Cuartel General de Cuerpo de Bomberos de Santiago, which is basically the main corps of the firefighters of Santiago. And it was declared the historical monument in 1983. The museum has a very good web page, so I definitely suggest you go visit it. It's going to be in the description of the video. And here in the video, you will see that I have left the excursion in Spanish that we heard in the museum. The excursion is free. There are two volunteers working in this museum. And uh, the museum is not free of charge, like you need to pay 1,000 pesos for grown-up, free for children, to visit it. The excursion was very interesting, so if you understand Spanish, it's going to be in the video, and I hope you're going to like it. The museum is located in two stores and you can see the history of the firefighters, some main activities made by them, some main rescues and fires that happened throughout the history of the firefighters of Santiago. And this museum is also quite interactive, so it's going to be interesting to see not only for the adults, but for the children as well. You will see that there are a few games that you can play. There are some games where you can dress as a firefighter and see yourself as the firefighter or the rescuer. There are also some games where you dress the person accordingly or the boarding game that you play on the TV. And on this screen, you like answer some questions about Chile and the firefighters. All the games are in Spanish, uh, but they're quite simple to understand, except for the one where you need to answer the questions because they're like the whole idea is the the whole sense of the game is in understanding what they're asking. And there are a few like physical activities let's say you can make like for example you open like some boxes and there is coming the music and the sound and there is some important date from the history of the firefighters for example and in the end of this excursion that you have uh, there is a room for children with some different activities so there are a lot of books that they can read they can dress up as firefighters take pictures there there are some coloring pages and nobody is really limiting your time there, so if you're coming with children, you can stay as long as you want. And after you visit the museum, there is also a souvenir store where you can purchase, for example, the model of the firefighter truck. You need to pay when you go inside the museum, but the museum also has the outside part. And you can go there for free and see some old firefighter trucks and the fountain. The museum is open from Tuesday till Saturday from 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. In my opinion, this is one of the best museums so far because it's been recently renovated and it's really thought through and you have an excursion, but it's not like the type of excursion that doesn't let you to go freely in the museum as well. 
So I really, really enjoyed the organization of the museum and the whole process of visiting it. I hope you're going to enjoy it too if you're going to be in Santiago or if you visit the museum virtually. As I said, the link to the web page of the museum is going to be in the description of the video. So don't forget to check it out. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.
las grandes ciudades van diversificando más emergencias y necesitando los bomberos en otras eh, emergencias además del de, eh, combate en incendio. Entonces está cuando, por ejemplo, alguien se queda atrapado en un lugar de gran altura o si tiene estado, está el bombero Green de rescate a gran altura. También está el bombero de eh, incendio forestal con su mochila forestal que contiene hasta 20 litros de agua. El rescate vehicular, los bomberos también se preocupan de salvar a las personas que quedan atrapadas en los autos, por ejemplo, después de un choque vehicular. Y también está el caso. ¿No? Es el bombero que va a las emergencias químicas, digamos, químicos peligrosos o desconocidos que pueden afectar a la comunidad. Y acá están los juegos. Que <ríe> puede jugar ese o el de acá. Al fondo también se puede vestir como bombero, como un pesque. Vale, gracias.